वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक दैट इज वेक्टर सप्रेक्शन वेक्टर सप्रेक्शन इज कैरिड आउट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेक्टर एडिशन सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी जस्ट लर्न दैट हाउ टू एड टू वेक्टर क्वान्टिटीज एंड हाउ टू फाइंड आउट इट्स रिजल्टेंट वैक्टर लाइक वाइज वी विल टॉक अबाउट द वैक्टर सप्रेक्शन मैथड इफ ए and the b are the two vector quantities that are coplanar vectors coplanar vector are those vector which lie in the same plane so if a vector and b vector are the coplanar vector then the resultant vector that is denoted by c vector after their vector subtraction will become a c vector equals to the subtraction of a vector and b vector so c vector is equals to a vector minus b vector since in the first point it is mentioned that the vector subtraction is carried out in terms of vector addition so actually what will it happen that the c vector can be evaluated like a vector plus minus of b vector so here the subtraction will be evaluated in the style of addition only because here we are performing the addition of a vector and minus of b vector now let's talk about this minus of b vector so here minus of b vector is a vector whose magnitude is same as that of b vector but the direction of minus of b vector is opposite to the direction of b vector so the direction direction of b vector is opposite to the direction of minus of b vector so this is the basic difference between b vector and minus of b vector that is nothing but the direction only now let us talk about the two rules for finding out the vector subtraction the first rule is parallelogram rule so according to the parallelogram rule here is the a vector and here is b vector now since the direction of b vector is opposite to the direction of minus of b vector so if we draw minus of b vector then it will be here in the opposite direction of b vector so here is minus of b vector and if we draw the parallelogram associated with this minus of b vector and a vector then it will be like this so here is a parallelogram between a vector and minus of b vector and if we talk about its diagonal then it will be here so here is the diagonal of this a vector and minus b vector this diagonal vector is nothing but the resultant of the subtraction of a vector and b vector here is the c vector that is acting as a resultant of the subtraction of a vector and minus b vector so the c vector is given as a vector minus b vector since according to the parallelogram rule if the two vector are coplanar to each other then the resultant that is c is the diagonal vector of the parallelogram which is formed by the vector a and minus b so here is the resultant vector that is nothing but 
diagonal vector. Now let us talk about head to tail rule. Now according to the head to tail rule here is the a vector. This is the tail of a vector and this is the head of a vector. If the head of a vector is being connected to the tail of minus of b vector so this is minus of b vector and the head of b vector a vector is being connected with the tail of minus b vector then in this condition according to head to tail rule the tail of the resultant vector is being connected to the tail of a vector and the head of resultant vector will be connected with the head of minus b vector so this is c vector and here also the c vector is given as the subtraction of a vector and b vector this is the resultant vector now let us have a look at the vector representation and the vector subtraction so here is the a vector and if we write its expression then it will be like ax ax cap plus ay ay cap plus az az cap this is the vector representation of a vector now similarly for the b vector it will be like bx ax cap plus by ay cap plus bz az cap now if we find the resultant of the subtraction of a vector and b vector that is c vector equals to a vector minus b vector then after putting the values in this expression we get our c vector equals to ax minus bx having the component along x axis plus ay minus by having the direction along y axis plus az minus bz into az cap so ax ay and az are the unit vector that are showing the direction along x axis y axis and z axis and ax bx ay by and az bz are the component of a vector and b vector along x y and z direction so this is all about the vector subtraction and the two rules that is parallelogram rule and head to tail rule for the evaluation of vector subtraction if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you